My first guest tonight, very talented and funny actress. Her new film, Escape from Planet Earth, is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> the lovely Jane Lynch, everybody. Jane Lynch. Sensational. I like this blue. It's striking. Oh, it's like you're you. color blocking, I, and, and I like that. <laughs> thank you so much. I know about color blocking. What, I, I don't know what that is. Well, well it's the kind of thing that you wear one color and you wear another color, and then they gave it a name, and then you can charge you more money. Oh, okay. <laughs> This film looks sensational. It's funny and it's cute and it's sweet and adults will like it and kids like it. And okay, good. So how are you? I'm terrific. Really? Yeah. I, I, no. I, I was going to say, you know what I realized is the money I'm going to make doing this gets to pay for this blouse because I bought this today. So and thank you for. Saying really? That. Yeah. No, the money what you, that, the, I just that you made doing the, the thing. You know, I don't. I signed the thing up there and I saw I'm making I'm making some money doing this. Oh, Not you mean lot, you mean on this show? Pay for this for this show. Yeah. What that? But wait, you get what like four hundred bucks for doing this show? <laughs> For two, 200? Really? <laughs> 200 bucks? That's it. That's about what this that, But that's a $200 blush yes, right sure there. Is, I, you yeah. know what? Look, looks every darn cent of oh, it, too. It's, thank uh, you, Greg. Are you a fashion play? Are you careful no, about that? No, not really. No. I, and you know what? I haven't figured out. I know a lot of stars in Hollywood get clothes. They give them the clothes. And yeah, I've heard about that. They don't give me anything. No, I don't So I have that. to go to the store and buy stuff. And you can't wear the same thing twice. At least they say you can't. But if you see me wearing this again, forgive me. It was 200 bucks. 200 bucks is a lot of money. I yeah. mean, you should be able to wear it whenever you want. Yeah. What do you mean you can't wear anything twice? I wear the same damn suit every night. I was wearing this exact suit last <laughs> night. You just change, you change your tie. I change my tie and that's tie. it. I know. Well, it's easier for guys, but you know, I don't think about it that much. But if you, it, you're supposed to wear, like those kids on Glee, those are the young oh, kids yeah, on Glee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People are throwing clothes at them and they look different and beautiful at every event. And I'm like, you know, Do you, you know, on the, on the Glee show, you're surrounded by these optimistic, upbeat, talented know, young people. It awful. must be terrible. I mean, it just, yeah. it's just hell. with their optimism and their yeah. <laughs> Can do attitude. Exactly, yeah. It, was, it needs to be squashed. Yeah, yeah. You gotta nip that in the yeah, bud and yeah. let them know that life is hard it's and tough. Bitter. And yeah. If it is, yeah, absolutely. You know, nobody helped me uh, when I was that age. Nobody helped me. Really? Get up the ladder. No, no, no. Let's do therapy then. Let's okay, do therapy. Let's do all right, right, all right. Okay, you know, so. I was all on my own. My parents were like, uh, you know, you need to learn to type. You, you, you need to learn to type. You, need to learn you to were type. raised by typists. I was raised by typists. Oh, they said you have to have some kind of a marketable skill so that you, because uh, you're, you're of course not going to be an actor. You're not going to be paid for that. Mm. So you know, I was on my own. I had to, I had to go on pure gumption, Craig Ferguson. Gumption is yeah. what you, I, you know. That says because I am the opposite story. My parents are like, why not talk show host? <laughs> And in another country. <laughs> right. On the way, though, yeah. how about a 15 years of blackout drinking? That'll yeah, really yeah, set yeah. you up. I did right. that, too. Yeah. I did that, too. Were you a drinker? I was. I'm, I'm sober 21 years. I'm sober 20 years. Yeah. See that? Yeah. See that? Yeah. See that? Irish, Scottish drinkers. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. that whole thing. Yeah, I've met people called Lynch that drank. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. What did you drink when you were drinking? Um, Miller Lite. It was oh. so sad. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't drink anything exotic. I don't, I, I, I don't, I never had, I never was into wine. I just liked Miller Lite and I was it's, drunk you know, on Miller you, Lite. If you know what you like, I knew you know what, what you like. Was, yeah. yeah. What about drugs? You ever do that? Uh, no, I was scared to death of drugs. In fact, I wasn't invited to the pot parties in high school. People called me narc because, and to this day, if I smell pot, I'm like, <gasps> the police are coming. Oh my God. We're all going to get arrested. See, I never really got into pot that much. I went straight to cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I skipped right over it. Yes, I thought it was kind of a vitamin that helped you drink more. <laughs> right, right, yeah. But you were a big drinker, right? I mean, you, yeah, I was. I was yeah. a big drinker. But I, but to be honest, I drank mostly beer as well. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, whiskey made me fighting drunk. You ever get fighting drunk? Yes, indeed. Oh, oh I, I, what do you call it? tequila? Did that for me. I oh, lost yeah. weekends over tequila. You know what they they say? Tequila is the fast track to rehab. That's if you. <laughs> it's the carpool lane. Yeah, that's yeah. what they say about. Uh, that's what they say about cocaine too. You just cocaine, get there faster. Yeah. 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 But 21 years. That's yeah, sensational. Yeah, you too. Yeah, girl. Yeah. I can't believe we don't know each other. I know, we should it's probably weird. be bestie friends.
in. I know. We came to town at the same time. Dude, when did you come here? Uh, 1992. I came 95. Oh, okay. Yeah, we so you were already established. And you're, I think you're a couple years younger than me, but you should be No, older. I'm clearly older I than you. I feel like yeah. you should be older than me. I was like, <laughs> I'm younger than Craig Ferguson. Yeah, well. Or older. I'm older than Craig Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, um, I don't. Uh, color. Okay. You, uh, neither, neither do you, no, obviously. No, no, I but do. I, uh, I do actually. I do. Yes. George Lopez was here last night. You know he dyes his hair. He does. Oh, he gets to get the gray out. Apparently. Did he, well, yeah. did he admit it on TV? No, he was proud of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah right. I'm gonna start dyeing mine. Would you? I no, was no, thinking, no, 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 no. No frosted no, no, tips. Frosted I love, tips. What I do you love think? how your hair looks. No, you've got natural frosted tips. Well, I don't like, know. I think it makes me a little a bit grandpaish. No, I saw some no, old no. photographs of my dad the other day. I'm like, it's that's me. Oh, I know. I did that with my mom too. Really. Yeah, I know. Isn't it scary? And I mean, I, we love our parents, obviously, but or maybe sure. we don't. I don't know your story. But I love my mom, and I look in the mirror. You kind of know mom. my story. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I've heard your stories in the rooms, as they say. Yeah, hey, you're steady. Oh, steady. careful now. Whoa. Steady. Oops. Hey, Jeff's eyes match your blouse. Yeah, we, uh, we, yeah, we coordinated before the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, love. Jeff. Hey, we've got... Now, listen, mm -hmm. you, uh, you're an out gay woman, right? I, uh, well, well, you are I now. I yeah, now. Yeah, right, so... Uh, listen, here's the... <laughs> you are, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because we can always cut that out. Um, because we've got a couple of gentlemen sitting in lesbian row, and it makes me a little cross. That looks like Nelly Boy Road. Yeah, yeah. well... <laughs> Now, I want to tell you the origin of Lesbian Row. This is the, the because my predecessor uh, had a show here. There was a, uh, Craig Kilborn, and he used to have a row called Chick Row. Uh -huh. And I thought, I don't like the sound of that at all. Yeah. It, it sounds a little heterosexual. <laughs> so. And we know you're a a anything but. Well, no, I am heterosexual, but I, don't, but, I don't, but I don't wear it like a badge, yeah, you know. You know, you're not marching in the parade. Right. You know I'm just, I, I happen to be heterosexual, but I don't march up and down saying I'm a heterosexual. I'm glad you don't throw it in our face. Right, I really appreciate right, it. Right, exactly. Yes. So I thought, no, let's have a role for uh, for lesbians. And then everybody wants to be in a uh, gay, straight, man, women. It's crazy. Well, you know, it's really hip to be a lesbian now. Apparently, yeah. yeah. I'm invited to so many parties, and it's like, this is my lesbian friend, Jane Lynch. Yeah. And also, I love when straight couples say, you know, if we added a third to our bedroom, it would be you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm supposed to be flattered by that. <laughs> and, and then, well, and we're talking about heterosexual couples. Yeah, yeah. But then you can say, but wait, somebody's got a penis. I have no interest in this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I am not immune to the male charm or the oh, male really? anatomy. Oh, no, really? I am, I'm, I'm, oh, I find that. It's, uh, sexuality doesn't have to be black and white. Sometimes it's, it's gr uh, gray and it swims. And you are my best friend <laughs> of all time. <laughs> we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Okay, let's everyone. Know if you would or not, but no, I don't. No. Oh, hey, we were just talking about stuff. Yeah. Hey, ever been to Scotland? I have not. You should go. You'd love I it. Should. Yeah. I've been to Ireland, but you know, there's a bloody sea between Scotland and no, Ireland. no, no. To. They're actually very similar. Places. Oh, well, that's interesting because most Scots and most Irish people say, "Oh, they're completely different no, civilizations." They always say that. It's kind of like same. Springfield and Shelbyville. It's kind of. <laughs> I mean, it kind of. I mean, there's differences, of course. Where are you from in Scotland? Glasgow, which is oh, a kind of the Irish town in Scotland. Is it really? Yeah. A little bit. Don't I look forward to your angriness. <laughs> there's a, a, a theater festival in Edinburgh. Oh, I yeah, 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 That's of course. Big. Yeah. And um, I, I haven't been there, but I hear it's Oh, no, wonderful. it's you. you. You still do live theater? Um, yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I love it. I love doing sketch stuff. I uh, I did a thing um, uh, in New York, Nor Nora Ephron's last play called Love, Lost, and What I Wore. It was a reading. I sat on my butt. But it was really well. Fun. No, that's still yeah. performing, yeah. though, isn't it? Still investing yourself in the exactly. live situation. I couldn't do that anymore. Eight shows a week. 
you're exhaustive. I was just talking to Mr. Mario Lopez, who did uh, the chorus line. I ran into him in the studio yeah. here, and um, he was talking about how hard that was. Eight shows a week, and he's yeah, a I did it in the Rocky in Horror Show in London. Oh, that's right. Yeah, of course yeah, you yeah. Did. Eight shows a week in uh, Four Inch Heels. <laughs> I had a boy. It would have been more, but I, they wouldn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I did eight shows. A, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Too much. I yeah, didn't get into show business to work. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and after doing television and film now, which is you know basically sitting there and and they say you know come out in an hour and then you work for like thirty seconds and say we have to relight and you go back. Yeah, and you read yeah, your yeah, book. yeah, yeah. And then you know when you're really when you're trodden the boards as they say, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's hard work, Different but it's thing. fun. It's it's really rewarding, but it is. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's not like a proper job, though. No. I mean, it's no. not like actual work. No, it's not. You know, it's, it's not like, you know, getting up in the dark and going and working in a dangerous, scary place. It's two hours a night. It's two it's, hours a night, it's, and, it's and they bring you lattes in the intermission. That's so true. it's. That's true, and you get yeah. to order lunch when you get there if you want. If yeah, it's actually it's, it's easy. We should it's go do it work. now. Let's do it. All right. Let's do a show. Um, you know what? We actually are out of time. You want to throw frisbees at the horse or to. do an awkward pause? Or yeah, I'd, love to, I'd love to throw a frisbee at a horse. Oh, there's one right there. All right, then. Jay Lynch, everybody. Where are we? Where are we? There you are. There's three. I got three. Not bad. Lower, lower. Bring yourself down a little. Come on. There you go. Oh, very bad. Oh, yeah. I'm all right. You doing all right? Yeah. It's been a, it's been it's been a, been a, a very bad, tough week. Bad, bad, tough week yes. for you. Everybody okay? For, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's tough. We we lost a. a, a yeah, I know. It's a, a shocking, pastor. terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, Corey Monteith was mm -hmm. a, a lovely, lovely guy, who, and everybody loved him. And um, it was a big, big loss for. Yeah, no, it, it's shocking. And the, I mean, when you, whenever I see something like that, yeah. you know, when someone goes young like that from what he went with. Mm -hmm. And that could easily have been me. I was I was right there at that kind of thing at that time in my life as well. A little yeah. a little bit younger, but but exact same thing. And yeah. it's just awful. Poor poor kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey. 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 There you go. Yeah. I know. It's it's it's. Uh, where, how do you seg from that? You, well, you, you don't. Do. You, don't. you don't. You know. Well, you do Hollywood game night. Exactly. I guess. Yeah. 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 How is that Hollywood game yeah, night? It's great, as you can see. The reference level is very high. Duck yeah, no. <laughs> Uh, snap, crackle, pop. There's a Rice Krispies game. Yeah, it's. it's Can you say Rice Krispies? I don't know if they, uh, know, they advertise on CBS. Well, they do now. So there you are. There you as, uh, I don't think Rice Krispies has had an ad has had a commercial in 25 years. They don't need them. They, they don't, don't need them. them. They're yeah. so darn popular. It's a yeah. hot cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you enjoy Rice Krispies? I actually love Rice Krispies. Are you kidding me? You're no, working I for didn't. Rice Krispies, no, aren't no, you? No, yeah, I'm you not. are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you're. Hey, right. did you have a nice time doing Annie in New York? I did. Yeah, I was. Um, uh, uh did uh, Annie on, on Broadway at the Palace Theater for two months, and I. And do loved you know? It. You know that you. My son Your was son there. Your son Milo. Came. Yeah, my son Milo. Why didn't came. I get to meet him? You did. <laughs> Milo. You what did a great get kid. Did I? No, yeah. What happened was that he wouldn't say that. Right. He was with his mom, and so they came backstage because he's a friend of Lilla that was playing Annie. Oh, okay. And so they came backstage, and he met you, and he said, Dad, I met Jay oh. Lynch. And I'm like, Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. Yeah. yeah. Well, She's been, like, yeah. when you're on the show, yeah. he's like, If anybody's on the show, he's not interested. Right. But if he meets them on his own, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's his world, I guess. Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's his world. I know. Did yeah. you have a good time? I had it? a great time. I, you know, I, I, uh, I will do theater for the rest of my life. I've, I, that's what I started doing. Mm -hmm. was, I started in the theater, and it kind of reignited that passion, if you will. And boy, have I missed it. I had such a it's good a great time. life. And you in know the what? Theater, yeah, right? it is. But you know what it was different between when I la last did a show about 20 years ago and today? I didn't suffer any shows. Do you remember when you're younger and you go, oh, I didn't play that moment right, or oh, that didn't go right, and then you suffer and it affects you? It's like, like all the time here. I, I uh... 
And you don't give a crap, do you? You just Not really. move on. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it gets to a point. I mean, I've done like 1,800 of these right. things or something. It's like, if I do a bad one, I go, well, just throw it with the rest. You know? Yeah. Uh, That's exactly how I felt about that. And actually, there's no such thing as a bad show, as I'm sure you know. Um, no, no, I, 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 I disagree, madam. Show. Yeah. Yeah. You obviously didn't see the monologue tonight. I, I thought the monologue was wonderful. Really? I can't remember it. I, I, love, uh, I love urinating uh, uh, references. Oh. Uh. Oop. <laughs> oh, we laughed. Oh, hey, so, uh, yeah. so you, you, you were doing Annie in New York and right. you're doing the Hollywood game. Now, it's Sean Hayes that's doing right, that. Right, yeah. Sean Hayes, um, you know, from Will and Grace. He's a hilarious young man. He's lovely. He, isn't and he? he's the greatest guy. He's a good friend. Have you been to his game nights? Have you been invited to his game nights? No, I haven't. No, I don't think I'm popular enough to get invited. No, well, to... I'll see. I'll put in a word for you. No, it's too late. No, it's no, too late. No, no, you wouldn't come. You wouldn't he, come. He actually he's, he did invite me to do the show. Oh, did you? To be a he? guest on the show. No? No, I said yes, and then CBS said no. Oh, really? Oh, well, well, we'll see. We'll work yeah. on that. I'll work on that. Hopefully, if we, we do more, I hope we'll do more. But, uh, How many did you do? Uh, eight. No, I can't do that many. <laughs> you, you'd only do one. Well, I don't, I don't want to do just one. Well, then you're, you're not for Hollywood game night. Do you play a lot of games yourself? Do you go to his, Sean's house um, and play yes, games? Yes, I, I, I do go to Sean's house and play games. He has Hello. These really, he has these really great game nights, and a lot of people come to them, and they're crazy, and they're uh, competitive and loud and drunken, and he said, let's put this on television. And I said, all right, then I'd like to host it. And he said, well, all right. Wow. And, uh, so you it, guys just make money falling <laughs> out of bed in the morning, don't you? That's crazy. <laughs> so it was, it was great. It's fun. And we, I think we really brought that energy from the craziness of his parties and picked it up and put it on television. Do you, like, do you like game shows on TV? Do you I don't watch? like game shows. I don't, really? I, don't like, I don't like board games and I don't like game shows. I'm not a fan. This is uh, that crazy low reference level, ridiculous blood sport that, we, that you play at a friend's house. It's like uh, to get them to, you, you try to get them to identify the, a cross section of a candy bar. <gasps> Baby Ruth. Oh no, Snickers. I mean, that kind of thing. I never do anything like this. <laughs> I don't do. I, 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 I think I've gone. We're the to, unintellectual crowd. No, no. I, I, just, I don't go out at all. You know, I don't. I don't go out much either. But I do go to Sean's. House. No, I don't even. I don't even go to Sean's house. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, well, I, I clearly, clearly I've, yeah. I haven't been invited. No. But I, you know, yeah. You know. <laughs> Well, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. So you're back in LA anyway. I, I thought we were doing an awkward pause. Well, we can if you okay. want. You want to just like slip it in right now? Right yeah, yeah. In the middle? Let's do yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm back in LA. No, no, let's do the awkward pause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> See when you did that, that with your chin? Yeah. Did, did you, were you a big fan of Kirk Douglas? Yes, you, I, used yeah. to, I used to go to sleep like this because I wanted a, I wanted one of those too. Uh -huh. I wanted one, I wanted one of those little, you can get them put in. No. Yeah, oh, I'll bet you can. But I, the thing is, I want to get a ton of plastic surgery, but I, I can't. Why? Afford it. And <laughs> also, I think people would notice on the show and I would be. Right, yeah, now people know who you are, but doesn't this, now it looks to me like a butt. Oh, I wish my butt were that small. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> and it is a little bit of a bit. How would I look just like this? Hey, you look a bit like Kirk Douglas. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I used to do this too. I wanted, you remember John Davidson? No. Oh, uh, do anybody? Yeah, nobody remembers. He was C's one. He still sings. Yeah. But he, he had, I always wanted to be a boy, by the way. So I always wanted to be. I wanted you to shock be, me. Yeah, yeah. I wanted, yeah, I wanted to be John Davidson. So I would sleep like this because he had the deepest dimples. And I bet this is very attractive, and I'm going to regret doing this when I yeah. watch. So. I think it's all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, you have got dimples, though. Um, I have lines. No, girl, I have deep, dimples. I have deep crevices. No. You what, have the, do you worry about the aging process? I'm, I'm worried about it right now. Seriously, do you worry about oh, it? You're looking at me and worrying about it? No, I don't. Oh, you mean worried about it? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm worried about it for myself. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm past 50 now. Well, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, me too. Here's the crazy thing, though. It's, it's this wonderful meme in this world that, that you says you can't grow old, but if we don't grow old, then, we then we're dead. And um, I'd rather, I think I'd rather deal with a little Growing softness old, yeah, yeah. and, you know. Yeah, no, I, I see where you're going, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, it's it's like, I just noticed that after I turned 50, yeah. everyone else doesn't seem to be getting any older, just me. And that's interesting because I see everybody else getting older and I'm, I'm not aging. 
I look in the mirror, and I know I am, because I'll see pictures of myself, especially pictures where you're not posing, like the TMZ people when they catch you, and you're like. <laughs> Yeah, but everybody awful. Like, everybody has a bad picture of like you're coming over the out of the plane or something. <laughs> right. like, ah, I had a great fly. <laughs> That's why they're there. That they want to get you like that. They catch you after the red eye. Yeah, yeah. Do they do they do that to you at the airport? Well, they... if, if there isn't anybody more interesting. Well, I, the thing is. <laughs> When, do they say things to try and provoke you to get you mad? Because that's what they want, right? They uh, want... Yeah, I guess so. I, I, you know what? I'm deaf in one ear. What? I, I, no. Ah! I, 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 fall for it. I fall for it every time. Yeah. And I've been saying I'm deaf in one ear for over 50 years. And I fall for that. But um, I, don't under, I don't hear people a lot of the time. I just go, <laughs> Do you read lips? Um, probably. All right, then. What do I say? I can't hear you! Oh! Oh, well, uh, 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 I don't know what you're saying. No, I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. But uh, is it like is it totally deaf? In one yeah, I have a nerve deafness. It probably happened when I, I had a very high fever as an infant. Yeah, I bet you that's it, what it was. Yeah, yeah, and it knocked it knocked it out. And uh, although there's this new device that I, I, I got, and I th anyway, you put this thing in your gums. And it bounces in a little microphone in your deaf ear. So if someone talks in this ear, it bounces off the bone, the thing they create here, and your bone, and it goes into your good ear. It doesn't work. What? Oh. <laughs> Man, I was going to be really impressed by that there. I have there. to get it, as the audiologist said, we need to get it recalibrated, because right now all I feel like is I have this big thing here in my mouth, and it makes me talk like this. <laughs> and I got it to, to, so I could hear people in restaurants. That's the hardest thing. But you can't well, eat with it in your mouth. there's a lot of background noise, But yeah. you can't eat with it in your mouth. Well, that doesn't make yeah, And so it makes yeah. no sense. So it was like 6K out the window. But they told me they just found out they just they have a new thing that they can put uh, in the back of your head. So I don't know. I'm going to... I'm gonna try it. I mean, what? The all heck? right, all right. You it's know. hard in a restaurant. You know, this is good. I can hear you because I'm sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, um, it's hard in. Um, also, I've got a very loud voice. Yeah, you do. I'm very yeah, loud yeah, and yeah. yelly person. It's insecurity. <laughs> it's a big mask. Yeah. It is. It is. I'm. Yeah. In, I'm inside. I'm crying. Yeah. I know. I feel that. Do you want to have a therapy moment? Yeah. Oh, let's do therapy okay. after the break. Oh, all right. After the break, we'll be okay. doing a therapy. <laughs> That was, uh, that was a commercial break. I was going to say, the commercial break is a ruse, America. There, it, it, we don't have that much time, do we? I mean, we... It... Oh, no, it'll be there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there'll be products. Oh, there'll be I'm products. I'm losing my tie now. Yeah, oh, good. Oh, yeah. we do, because we're doing a little we're therapy. We're doing therapy, right. Now, who's the patient? Well, who do you want? I don't know. I always play the therapist. Then, so. in that case, you're the patient and I'm the therapist. Good, thank you. As yeah. you can tell by okay. my hands, speaking together. Oh, yes, together. okay. Um, looking... So, Jan. Yeah. yeah. You used to sleep making a little butt on yes, your chin. I did. Tell, tell me why you did that. Well, I think I never had self-love. I think I always wanted to be somebody else. And instead when you of... say self-love, do you mean masturbation? Yes. So, yes, I so do. you're telling me, Jane... That I didn't you... think I did, but I... Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me, Jane, that you've never experienced... Self-love? Masturbation. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. What, well, what? Well, I see, so... I've experienced self-love over and over again. So I see. Very young and, age. And is this how you practice self-love? <laughs> because this it's, is very this unusual. This is an approximation. <laughs> oh, 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 madam. Madam, you are so naughty. Where are we going with yeah, this? Yeah, oh, Lord. Oh, I forgot how much I liked you. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we're out of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah. that's it. Hollywood game night, then. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, NBC when? NBC t uh, Thursday nights. Thursday, t Thur tomorrow, uh, next, uh, yeah, whatever. next Thursday, we are, yeah. We're pretending it's Friday now. Uh, we're pretending it's Friday. No, so, no, it's, it's it Friday. It is Friday. I mean, oh, it yeah, is Friday. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. is Friday. I thought you were an actress. Come on. <laughs> as if, act as if. Yeah. Uh, 10 o'clock, 9 central. Uh, right. And there's, you know, people d uh, doing a little bit of, you know. Oh, all over the country, yeah. different time zones. <laughs> All right, Jane Lynch, everybody. Thank we'll you. be right back.
Hi, Jane. How are you? Oh, you look great. I, I love oh, the you. pants and black and oh, elegant. You. It looks great. Oh, thank you. Mm, really kind of... Mm. 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 Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I love it. What, what happened? I have, uh, let's do it again. <laughs> it's always funny. It's always funny. Always funny. I it know. always works. You know, Pete, see if you don't think that's funny, just move along. Really? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, did you feel the earthquake this morning? I didn't. Oh, you didn't? I did not, but I woke up with my cat's face right here. Um, I didn't feel it at all. Did at you feel it? Tall? At all? No, I, I felt it a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, I was at the beach. I was like, oh. Oh, you, yeah, you, you feel it more like, with, oh, no. with, the, with the sand. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, The oh. first earthquake in 90, the one that I experienced was in 94, and I was living on the beach, and I was on the toilet. <laughs> and couldn't stop doing what I was doing. And the, 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 uh, it, was a, it was a roller. Were you here? No, no, it was just before I go here. Oh, okay, and the, the uh, shower curtain was going back and forth. And it was really scary. Yeah, and especially if you're in the middle of something that something were... Something that you can't stop. You can't stop. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, same to you. No, thank yeah. you. Nothing like two sober people talking about St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, isn't it great? <laughs> and I'm from Chicago. It was a, it's a really big deal. And, and I'm also uh, Irish Catholic. Um, and it was, a, you know, a huge deal. Uh, my brother or nephew sent me a picture of the Green River. I mean, we're extreme in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, kind of like that lady in the green... Yeah, yeah the sparkly yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wearing the green sparkles. Yes. She's Very here sweet. quite a lot. She's coming back on Wednesday, I think. Oh, yeah. um. <laughs> I, I'm not surprised yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, you ever yeah. been to Australia? What? If Australia? I have been to Australia. They like to drink. Yeah, they drink a little bit there. I actually noticed I was, uh, that's when I first thought, I think I may be an alcoholic when I was in Australia. Oh, you were in Australia? Yeah, because I, I went to this bar. It was like really early in the morning. That, that's a clue, <laughs> that's right? That's your clue. That's your birthday. I went, I went to this bar in Melbourne, and right, it right. was like, it was a working man's bar. It was the guys who were doing the night shift. And right. then they, and I went to this bar, and I was drinking little stubbies. They call them like these little, like, short beers. Oh, beers, okay. Because they're like, you know, it's. Get your mind out of the gutter. I thought he was talking about like shots of booze, no, not no, no, that. Not that. <laughs> that was that was later. So, <clears throat> so I'm drinking these little stubbies of beer, right. and I, because they're little, I'm like, yeah, right, right, them right. In. and then this Australian barmaid come over to me and, "Jeez, man, you're drinking a little too much." And I thought, this is an Australian barmaid, right, that serves liquor in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> And she thinks I drink too much. Right, right. Uh, that's, a, that's a sign. Shortly after that is when you got sober? Only a mere five years. Five years. Yeah. yeah. T took a little while to settle in. The truth yeah, I, just, I, I wasn't sure about it. We just figured it out. We have um, uh, the same amount of sobriety. I have 22 years, so does he. And yeah. I have maybe three weeks more than you. Yeah, but they say you learn everything in uh, three weeks. Okay. Wow, it's not a competition. No, it's not a competition. No. <laughs> Let's retreat. Let's go that. somewhere else and mm -hmm. say, I, it's 100 episodes of Glee. Yes. My goodness. That's, yeah, I know. Congratulations. Thank That's you so much. Yeah, it's been great. It's going to be a good one. Yeah. Fun. yeah. That's, uh, you got Jenna with in that clip as yeah, well. Yeah, and uh, also Gwyneth Paltrow, yeah. not to brag. Gwyneth Paltrow as well? Yeah, he's in that episode as well, yeah. Yeah. Chenoweth's my dog. Oh, That's, she's my dog. Isn't she the best? Oh, I love her. She's like, she's She's you little, her in your you could just like take her around yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also sexy. Yeah, yeah, she's, sexy. what did, I, I think it was Robin Williams who said, she looks like you took a, a dry clean only Dolly Parton and accidentally put her in the dryer. <laughs> and you got Kristen Chenoweth. Yeah, but she's. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's fair, yeah. actually. Yeah, but whoa. Oh, that was apt. No, no it, it is. It's a... mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I've got a bit of a scratchy throat. Yeah, so don't breathe on me or anything. No, no, all right. Here. Are you a germaphobe? A little time? bit. Yeah, here, have some of this. Thank I keep you. it for when Howie Mandel's here. Yeah, wow. oh, yeah. He's crazy about that. Yeah, I know. He won't uh, shake your hand. No, no, you have to. I do this thing. He used to do the fist bump, but he doesn't like that. So now I do this. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, well, that's yeah. good to know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It's weird. Don't you think that if you are so afraid of germs that you're just going to bring that to you, that you're just going to bring sickness to you? 
Don't you think that that... Well, maybe, I don't know. I, I mean, I think, really, I think, was with me, I've been sick more this year than I've you been have. in years. You have. You were really, really... I was really out, because we had to cancel. Right, exactly. Right, the last time you were going to come. Yeah, you could not even come to work. I, I mean, was, that was a horrible flu. It's so. terrible. Yeah. And and I think it's because my youngest boy is in preschool. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, oh they're my. Petri dishes. Oh, my so. Lord. <laughs> I mean, he comes home and he goes, eh, <laughs> And then it's gone, and I'm like, oh! <laughs> I know, I know. Because he's got that oh. little immune system that's like, boom, 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 and yeah. we're old, and we've been drinking. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's we bad. I think also that the alcohol used to kill a lot of the germs. You know, I, when I quit smoking, I got so sick. Not as sick as you'd have gotten if you'd have kept smoking. Yeah, exactly. Though, yeah, right. Oh, I know. I know. My dad uh, CBS passed because of that. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, I, I, I had the, got the worst flu. It's as if my body from smoking was like this. <laughs> And then I got rid of it and it went, oh, thank God. And I got so sick I couldn't even... Yeah, no, I remember that from smoke, stopping mm -hmm. smoking as well was... It was easy to stop drinking because, like, you know, you, you lose weight and your yeah, friends you are happy. Good, your eyes are clear. Everything's and, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And you stop smoking, you, you put on 20 pounds and you're angry all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the one I miss. That's what I actually, Yeah, I miss smoking. I, I, I miss smoking. I do. I just flat out do it. If it didn't kill you, I'd do it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And I have had a cigarette since I quit and I end up on my back. I get sick from it. I can't. I, get William Shatner was here one night and he, he was puffing a cigar and I said, Give me a cigar, Bill. I can do that. And and I smoked a bit of cigar, and I felt like I'd had a bowl of tequila or yeah, something. Right. I felt like I was Poisoned. All, yeah, I was yeah. all vulnerable and kind of oh. like, oh, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, oh, does everyone hate me? And, <laughs> you don't want to be like that. that. If, if that's your reaction to cigars, you're not meant to smoke them. Right, you, it's just not worth it. No, no I know. It's not. Shame that. <sighs> uh, fancy a commercial break? Sure. I know. You know? It's a, oh, hang on a second. We're back. Everybody. Sorry. Yeah, hey, hey, how you yeah. doing? Um, hey, was, come on back in. It's yeah. fine. How's that? How's that, man? I'm trying to be a corporate guy. Good. Now, Von Trapp! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> So, sorry for cussing, I know that hey, you... no problem. No, no I, got, I got no problem with are you Are you a cussy person? I'm kind of cussy, yeah. Really, a little bit? I'm yeah. trying not to be, because around the kids. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And, you know, so I think that it's, a, uh, uh, it's lazy. Sometimes, you know, it is, though, it is, there's it nothing is. better than saying the F word, because it's perfect. Right. It's perfect. But when you're using it randomly, and it's lazy. I think it's lazy. It's like, find a better word. But what happens is, with me... It... <laughs> What happens with me is, is this. I, don't, I think I agree with you, but yeah. what happens is, is when you get somebody who's self-righteous about it, then it gets my dander up, and then it's the only word that I can use. Yeah, right, right. So, right. like, if you're somebody who says, you know, a good, a good comedian doesn't have to cuss. Yes, a good and comedian you, you'll go, has to cuss. Richard Pryor was a Ay, caramba. good comedian. Yeah, he was a great comedian. And he didn't yeah, yeah. have to cuss, he just liked to cuss. Right. Exactly. Right, so I think that it's okay to cuss some. You know, I work for, used to work, or kind of work for a certain network, and I won't name which, which one it is, but um, they have a, 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 a sexual harassment thing that they they give you like a lecture before you start working. Oh, we get that You know, here. about what it constitutes, oh, you get that too, oh, yeah, constitutes yeah. sexual harassment. And, and you know, it's important, I get it, I get it. Um, but what I want to do right after that is harass somebody sexually. Right, yeah. That's yeah. all I can think yeah. about. I'm yeah. inviting it. And I want to give it. Yeah, yeah, no, I... I, I, I totally understand. Totally understand. I think... My reaction to the sexual harassment, you know, video and little course that we have to do mm -hmm. is not that it's not necessary. Of course it is. Yeah. Why everyone should know how to behave. Yes. But what bothers me is that it's lawyers telling me how to behave. I know. Lawyers! I know, I know. Like, I need a lesson in manners from a tootsie fruitsie. Lawyer! <laughs> No. No. It's the only word that would work there, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, yes, no, actually, he agreed lazy. with me. Yeah, that wasn't lazy. That no. was well used. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Yes. No, I agree. I think it's it's important that we, you know, know what is, tell people what is good behavior and yeah. bad behavior. And well, some people apparently have a problem. I guess. Some you know. people, but not us. But, you know, yeah. so we have to suffer through it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, a lawyer telling us. Ooh la la. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. 
we agree on so many things. True, I know. Yeah. We should have got married. Uh, yeah. That's probably why we're doing so well here. <laughs> I don't know. I think it would have worked. Uh, yeah. I would have had to have a frank discussion with you up, uh, up top. About, yeah, I, about I, certain things. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I understand that part well, of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we, we, you can work some things out. Yeah, certainly, certainly. I guess that would be a pretty tough one, though, it wouldn't would, it? Yeah. yeah. Probably not worth, yeah, probably not are, worth right. investigating. Well. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, awkward pause, uh, meditation. We did an awkward pause kind of without even telling each other we were going to do it. When, there? Right, no, right before the um, commercial break. Oh, that's just my interviewing style. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, that was, it was very awkward for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I like to think that I'm the most awkward person on television. In, uh, awkward and charming all at the same time. Well, that's how I get you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so lovely. Are you sure I can't talk to you? <laughs> all right, fair. Um, well, um, awkward pause or what is, what is meditation? Uh, we listen to Anya. Oh, okay. Oh, I love that. Is she Scottish? Sure. <laughs> no, Irish. She's, she's Irish. Irish. Okay. Irish. Is that a dinner suit? It's kind of like a dinner suit. It, it, yeah, I feel like um, uh, Shirley Partridge a little bit. Oh, it? yes, <laughs> Mrs. Partridge. <laughs> have you ever uh, toured around America in a bus? I have not. Well, then you should. I should. Yeah. In yeah. this outfit. With Danny Bonaducci. Oh, and not now, but maybe when he was a well, child. No, I think I know Danny. He does radio in Philly. He's, yes. he's, yeah, he's fine now. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he went through a few adventures, but he's all right. Don't we all go through a few adventures, We go through right? adventures. You are, yeah. You're absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> What's life without a few dark adventures? Dark adventures. Yeah. Have you had a dark adventure? You know what? My, I, my life has been so vanilla. But there are where it gets kind of darker vanilla. Mm. And, um, Br brown, brown vanilla? Not even that far. More of a, like a, a taupey beige. So you've had some taupey... I've had some taupey beige... Taupey beige adventures? Uh, adventures. Some, yeah, some, yeah my, that would be like my, my taupey beige night of the soul. As opposed to dark night of the soul. That's all? Taupey beige? Yeah. Here's the thing. How have you been? Congratulations. What is this? Uh, season eight of the celebrity show? <laughs> yeah, hey, no, uh... it's, uh, we'd be going into our third. Oh, yes. right. Well, that's great. Yeah, it's well nice. done. Congratulations. Thank you. It's and now you, uh, it's proper. You've got a machine that shoots uh... confetti up Yeah, there. that's how you know you've got a hit show. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And you it know, makes that... a loud noise, so you're like, we are golden. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What about um, the World Cup? You watching that? Not at all. I'm not even pretending to be a fan. <laughs> I have to say that very un LA of you. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got no interest in sports. None. Sorry. Really? Yeah, none. Well, I find that kind of disappointing given your character on Glee. Uh, <laughs> That's right, we're attractive, yes. Yeah. yeah. No, you know, I used to, I'm from Chicago. I'm a big, I uh, used to be a big baseball fan. I used to be a football fan and basketball fan. And then I moved out here and I don't give up anymore. <laughs> well, that's the LA way, really. It and, kind uh, of is, yeah. What about kale? Are you enthusiastic about kale, even? Uh, I love kale. Do you really? I love kale balls. <laughs> yes. Yes. Would you like to? Would you like to pretend to eat some kale yeah, balls? Yeah, let's. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> When you need that, when you need that. Mm. Tastes like fresh meadows. 
So is Chicago, eh? Yeah. Uh, yes, I like Chicago. I love it. Cold, though. It's cold in the winter, hot in the summer. Hot in the summer, yeah, yeah. it's extreme. Whereas in LA, you know, everything's kind of the same. You wake up. Kind of vanilla. Sunshine. Yeah. I love it, but I, yeah. I love it. Yeah. it. It suits my vanilla nature. Well, I kind of like it. Do you, do, you, uh, do you participate in Californian pastimes? Do you surf or? Uh, I don't do any of that, no. Really? No, I just drink coffee and eat kale balls. <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. I'm thinking I'm, I'm, these days I'm drinking too much coffee. Is it because of the caffeine you're getting all brrr? But yeah, and it makes me, later in the day, I find myself You can't do it later depressed. in the day. You get older, oh, depressed. It's yeah, yeah, because down. you're coming off the coffee, right. I find myself going, yeah. oh. Yeah, me too. You know what depresses me more than anything is when I get to that point of the day where I can't have any more coffee. It's where I'm just too hopped up, and but I enjoy it so much. It's I like, know. I can't have another cup, and I'm going right by King's Road, and I want to go get, sometimes I'll just, because I have that kind of. Nature. I have that also, as yeah, you know, we, that yes. same type of personality. Yeah, yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah. If, yeah, if I've had too much, then give me a little more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, too much is just getting started. Just getting yeah, started, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right. I assume when people, when they drink alcohol and they, they say, oh, I'm going to stop now, I'm starting to feel it. And I'm like, that's the that's whole the point. <laughs> that's the whole point. That's, feeling on. it is the whole point of drinking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no, I can feel it. Like, Shut up. <laughs> you and your moderate way. Yeah, you, you're, you're topy vanilla. Yeah, right oh, no, well, I guess, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's all right. I mean, it's fine. You've been you've been clean and sober a long time. As long right? as you, 22, 23 22? years, 22 years. What, you're 23. I think 22. All right, I'm definitely 22. Okay, well, I think I am too. But I, I had a little bit of a when I started, I, I had a bit of a false start. Oh, well, with a uh, getting right? sober. Yeah, I got sober for like four months, and then I thought, oh, well, that cleared up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that cleared up. And then. Uh, yeah. Then I thought, well, no, I can, uh, and then it turned out I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. They say there's nothing worse than having a belly full of booze and a head full of recovery. Yeah, well, I, I don't know if I had a head it's full of recovery. It's not funny, it's sad. Yeah. <laughs> We're laughing at your terrible addiction. <laughs> 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 I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's all right. I don't mind, actually. I'm, I, it's funny when people go, mm, you know, they get all kind of dramatic about it. You go, it's actually, if drinking was more fun, I would do it. Yeah, you me know, too. I mean, I mean it's, it's not, but it's hard for people to understand that. It was hard for me to understand it early on. I, well, one of the things I loved about going to those meetings was that, that it was funny. People told hilarious, ridiculous, extreme <laughs> stories, and everybody was able to laugh at them. Yeah, I, I do I it here all the time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. We have to take a commercial break. Oh. You have these on NBC, yeah, don't you? Uh, yeah, yes, we do. We, we have them. Well, then you know we the pay drill. the bills. I know We're, the drill. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> Okay. Right. No, 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 Jane, uh, Jane was just asking about Jeff Peterson. He's a reanimated robot skeleton. Yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, hey, how are you? Good to see you. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> Looking tall. Looking tall. Tall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Nice. So listen, you did cabaret in New York, you I were did. saying. Yeah, did, that, yeah, was it in a hotel? Uh, no, uh, but the, it was like the Hotel Carlisle. They yeah, yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. So a place called 54 Below, and it, it's below what used to be. Uh, Studio 54 on 54th Street. Oh, it's, it's probably the you ghosts, know, ghosts. Uh, yeah, and also you probably want to get some disinfectant in there. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, yeah. But it's Did a you great ever go club. to Studio 54? No, no, no. Me neither. I, was, I think I was too young. I think I was too. Yeah, yeah. I think it was kind of a it's like a 70s thing. Yeah, we're the same age. Yeah, you? yeah. So I just missed it. Yeah, I was like the 80s. Do you go to uh, CBGBs and all that kind of stuff? Um, I, I went right before they closed, but I, I wasn't in um, New York when I was young. I was like in my 30s. All I right. wasn't there like in my 20s. Or Where were you then? In Chicago? Chicago. What was the scene in Chicago? What uh, you well, I was then? kind of in the theater scene, but it was very, um, you know, a lot of bars, a lot of playing softball and... You know, doing shows. Softball, for really? You yeah. surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a walking cliche. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, nah. The theater scene in Chicago is amazing. I mean, yeah. I'm sure it still is, but when I. Well, was, the improv people out there oh, are spectacular. Oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah, I worked no. to Second City for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, of course. With them and, you know, no. I worked for free a lot. You know, there's a thriving, um, what we call off loop, 
non-equity um, world out in uh, Chicago in the theater world. Just, I love go. I love the audiences out there in Chicago in the Midwest. They, they're, they're fantastic. Yeah, they, they're, well, they they are theater. They go to see theater. They, yeah, it's a real live experience. Yeah. Very few people holding up phones. Right. Maybe exactly. that's just I don't me. know. Who knows? Maybe they do now. Nah, I don't, I don't see know. it. You know. Like, yeah, isn't it a drag though? The, this whole thing with phones now. Everybody wants a picture of something or wants to instead of experiencing it and videoing. Well, you know, it was a survey done. I think they, they did this thing where you don't actually remember things the same way if you're filming it. Yeah. You I'll know, bet. and and. So so yeah, I, I try not to do it anymore. Yeah. I try not to uh, have them film the show. Yeah, but, that's uh, probably the best stuff you can do. We're experiencing it. Isn't this enough for CBS that these people yeah. are enjoying what's going on? Why does it have to reach out into millions of households? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. understand it. I don't know. Anyway, we're out of time. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but here's the good news. What? Um, we, uh, you can do an awkward pause. Okay. Or we could do meditation, which we did the last time you were here. No, we did an awkward pause. Didn't we, we did an awkward pause. We but I was going to say we could introduce okay. the new pretending to eat kale balls. Oh, I love that. Yeah, all right. Uh, so let's do that. This will be the first time it has been done to end, uh, end a, a, a segment. segment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. well, thanks very much, oh, Jane. Oh, really great let's to meet you. Let's end and with kale balls. Her kids' book, Marlene, Marlene, Queen of Mean, is in stores now. Please welcome the lovely Jane Lynch, everybody. Yeah. Sexual position. Yeah, that I've a only bit. seen in pornos. Yeah. Hold the person up and. Oh. Hey. Can we play that again in slow motion? I'll no. do it for you in slow motion. Oh. You wrote a book. I wrote a book. A children's well, book. With a couple other people too. Oh yeah, there they Took are. Three of us to write those seven pages. <laughs> I like it. Can I can I take it? I have children. Oh yes, please. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice picture of you. Yeah, it's kind of glam. That's a bit of a glam. No, picture. you're quite glam. You're more glam than you. Well, you is good. It's a good look. <laughs> I like you. it. Thank you. What is it about? Well, it's about this girl named Marlene, and she's uh, mean, and she kind of tells kids what to do, and she what she really wants, of course, is to just connect and be friends, and she uh, has terrible social skills. So this is hopefully to get kids before they become mean girls when you know they it's kind of tough to bring them back from that. Well, did, did you? become a mean girl? Were well, you a no, mean girl? But, you know, I was one of those people. I'm, I'm a socially awkward human being. I, I love one-on-ones. Mm. I'm not great with groups. And um, so... Are we talking sexually or are we talking... Oh. Uh, uh. It carries through to my sex life as well. Yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, you know, I, I definitely was one of those kids who would go onto the playground and just to join the group would start telling people what to do, changing the rules, um, yeah. uh, get, 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 you gang up on other kids. I, I, no, I that was a big one. Yeah, 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 you yeah. pick some poor person to be the victim and, oh, terrible. I was where, an awful human where being did, where, did you, where did you grow up? On the south side of Chicago in a suburb. Uh, yeah. Really? Where in the, on the south side? Just yell it out, somebody. Yeah, Evergreen Park? I was born in Evergreen Park. You guys, shut the hell up. That's so crazy. And that did little, not even happen. Little Company of Mary, the hospital. Yeah, oh, there you go. Your husband may have birthed me. Okay, go ahead. That's amazing. I've never been there. <laughs> and you don't need to be there, right? It's but here's the, the weirdest thing. Not only have I known, but I've never e even heard of it. Evergreen Park? Like, so t I'm sure there are Evergreen Parks all over the United States of America, and this happens to be the one in it. All right. Well, you, you grew up there, and I you, grew up, you there. grew up hard, and you grew up mean. Oh, and yeah. You, yeah, and you grew up... <laughs> but, you know, I figured it out. And, of course, you get... You know, as you get older, it, it becomes harder to change those um, those habits. So that's, you Do know... Do you find that now in your life that yes. it's difficult to change your habits? Well, you know what? I think I have an awareness now that it does 
it, your your stuff can calcify. So I, I realize that. Yeah. And so when I see myself acting a certain way, and I've, I have a bunch of people around me who will mirror back to me. So I think I'm more aware of it. But I know that I, I've you can fall asleep to bad habits in yourself. See, I think that I, I've, I've done this thing recently, which uh, I don't know if I'll still be doing it today, November the 18th, but I certainly <laughs> was doing it in October, right. which was... Um, I've I stopped eating meat. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, have, have you ever done that? No. It's very interesting. It, it, why did you do it? Well, I, I, I did it because I saw a documentary on Netflix called... Oh, the uh, Food Over... Uh, Forks Over, over Knives. Yes, yeah. it was fantastic. Fascinating. So yeah. I thought, well, I'll try that for a yeah. little bit and see what it is. It, but I can't... The idea of, of not eating meat again uh, doesn't really appeal to me. You know, but, I, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But, no, no, no. I, I, I mean, I kind of have an opinion about this. Um, not that everybody should eat meat. I don't. I don't think you should. But uh, when uh, uh, the animals are raised humanely and, and slaughtered humanely, um, I think that it's an all right thing to do. And when they're fed what they're supposed to eat, like we shove a corn down the gullet of cows. Yeah, that's we have good. a surplus of corn because the government pays people and Monsanto to grow corn. So we have tons of corn. So we put it into cows. They're supposed to eat. Or they're herbivores. They're supposed to eat greens, so they're all sick, and so that that gets into our meat. But you you get a you know a free range of cow who's who's allowed to graze, and that that meat is a, a cow that's uh, you know that's uh, maybe driven across America a couple of times, been to Disneyland. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Had its chart cast. That what? whole thing. See, I I did it because I thought, ooh, um, I wonder what it'll be like because mm -hmm. I've never done it. That was genuinely I thought I wonder yeah, what yeah. it'll be like, and it's fascinating. What's fascinating? Well, I the pooping is amazing. Oh, really? You mean amazing. it's good poop? Uh, it's like uh, it's like uh, uh, you can I can schedule it now. Oh, good. Yeah, well, I, you know what? You're probably digesting your food. Your food. It's just uh, uh, like it comes and it goes. Yeah. It comes and it goes. It comes you know, and it you're, goes. You're, you're, you're Scottish, so just uh, just your ancestry would teach you that you should eat meat. You, yeah. You would think that your body would be like mm, meat, but obviously you there was something in you that was saying, let me see. What I think it's like. I've been here for a long time yeah. and I've turned into something of a tutti frutti. <laughs> How long have you been here? Um, uh, 20 to, oh boy, about 20 years. Do you know me too? Yeah. yeah we, well, I, we've talked about yes, this. That's we have right. the same amount of sobriety. Same we're, amount of sobriety. Same age. Yeah. We've been here at the same time. Right. And we've slept with many of the same, same people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I never. I gave up meat for one year, and it so shocked my family that to this day they'll say, "Well, you know, Jane's a vegetarian." I'm like, "No, that was like one year." Yeah, I, one year. I did it a while ago. When I was drinking, I didn't uh, eat meat for a year. Yeah, I was drinking too. Oh, really? And then I realized I, I was attacking the wrong area yeah, right. of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. You got a bad steak. Right. That wasn't what happened. <laughs> wasn't what it was, oh, yeah. I wish I had, had that pie last night. Oh no. <laughs> no. Uh, I, uh, I would eat cheese fries, and that's what I, when I was a oh, vegetarian. I yeah. I saw I got fat and wasn't healthy at all, but yeah, I I, I got to watch it. I can get fat really easy. Yeah, I do. Like, well, were you a fat kid? Um, no, I wasn't a fat I was a kid. Fat kid. Yeah. yeah, were you really? I yeah, can't yeah, yeah, you're yeah. So tall and lean. Tubby was my name when I was really. Yeah, oh, they me Tubby. Like little girls, like Marlene would, would call, call me. Tubby. Right. Oh, Tubby, here comes Tubby. <laughs> <laughs> It was very shaming. Yeah, it was a terrible yeah. thing. I occasionally think that. I do a fat joke on the show sometimes, and I think, oh, I feel bad. I shouldn't have done it. Yeah. But it's hard. You do a show every night. You forget. Oh, you my know, gosh. And, and I know. You cross lines all Do you ever do jokes? You think, oh, gosh, I wouldn't oh have done it. Oh, my gosh, yes. Well, I think the thing about comedy is that you're always, you, we're trying to push the envelope all the time, and sometimes we go go over even for ourselves. Yeah, I know. Go, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. But nah. That happens, I think, particularly if you do a show, like you do the Celebrity Game right. Night show, mm -hmm. and the, the, what you do a show which it doesn't have the luxury of a script, right? Uh, much like this one, right? You know, <laughs> then you know you do stuff, and then you think, ah. Uh, but we can cut it out, and you, you guys bit. are on such a fast schedule here because you do. I know. I mean, second show today. No, no, this no, is the first show of today. <laughs> no, no, this is today, November 18th. <laughs> right. After this, I'm straight in a private jet and off to Des Moines, Iowa, <laughs> where I'll be appearing four hours before this airs. <laughs> Yep. So you have the you you know uh, my show uh, uh, Hollywood Game Night is called not Celebrity oh, Game. Oh, Celebrity Night. Game. That's celebrity your, that's Game your Show. Yeah. That, <laughs> what's been called Celebrity Game Night or Celebrity Game Show? Celebrity Name Game. Oh yeah, that's celebrity it. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Which yeah. is the final round of Hollywood Game Night. Right. That's okay. It's all um, right. You're not going to sue me, are you? No, not at all. I think there's enough game in for everybody. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Enough gay men for everybody. Yeah, like I enough, think. enough gay men. For, I just oh, yeah. found out that you're you're gay. I just yeah. Oh yeah, Jeff. Yeah, no, I'm into dudes. Put me in a kimono and I'll take a bow. So. <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too. Uh, well, no, I don't necessarily know that you'll miss him. You know, you no, I probably around. won't. I, well, actually, I... I, I do you see him at Hollywood parties? Yeah, oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Do you right. go to the Hollywood parties? I don't no, at all. I can't do it. Yeah. I, I tried when I started We're doing this We're invited all the time. But we don't go. We choose not to. I, I'm not invited anymore. You're probably not invited. No. I'm not invited anymore. Yeah. No, I've done too many bad things here about people. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, that guy. Nah. Nah, he's nah. on. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I mean, I, I, I don't like parties of any kind. No, I feel very uncomfortable yeah. in parties. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's it's like, I always go there. Yeah, a party in an apartment, you always have to go to the kitchen. That's where the cool people yeah, are. Yeah, that's usually yeah. The, that's the best place, I think. Yeah. Or I, just I don't, don't go. That's where the cooler that's people are not I there. I, yeah. I, I, I've been known not to go to my own party. Oh, I've done that. Or I do the dishes the whole time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or at the party. What about like Thanksgiving? Because that's coming up oh, very soon. I like soon. that. that oh, yeah, I, yeah. That I like. Because that's a, you know it's a it's a one time thing. I don't know. There's something about that that's okay. Because do you cook? Food. I don't cook, but people use my kitchen. That seems fair. Yeah. By people, do you mean hired caterers? <laughs> no, no, no. We do a potluck yeah. where everybody. We had celebrity food. potluck earlier I on saw the show. That, I saw that. Steve Zagal called. Who would have thought? Have wow. you ever met him? No, I haven't. Neither have I. I didn't even know he was still working out. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he is. We have to take a break. Oh, okay. we'll be right back. Join lunch, everybody. We'll be right back. It gets even mad. Or maybe it's because it's newer yeah. in a formal sense. You know, well, oh, we're back. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, oh, ha, ha, show us the four. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, Mr. Ferguson. Yeah, you good? I am. I'm real good. Do you ever play golf? No, I hate it. Really? Yeah, I mean, I, I never played it. I, I can't watch it. I think the whole idea of it, I guess it's a very Zen thing, though, I've heard. I started doing like it when I was 50. Oh, okay. I never touched it before. I wouldn't yeah. touch it because everyone in Scotland was playing golf. And I was like, nope, well, I don't want to know. They're like, oh, come on, it's great. Ah, <laughs> Shrek, farty donkey, come over here. Ah. <laughs> and I was like, no, I don't want to do it. And then when I was 50, I thought, I'll give it a try. Love it. Love it. I love it. I'm terrible at it, which I doesn't matter. Well, what do you love about it? Do you love the fact It is that the zen nature of it. Yeah, it, it is. And, and it's something... It's, Several hours stretching before you in beautiful ground. Yeah, it's that. I don't like it when they play with the little carts. Oh, really? You like no, to walk I don't it? like the little carts. That ruins it for me. So you walk it. You yeah, like, you got to walk it. Um, yeah, do you, I, is it important who plays with you? Yeah, I don't want to play with douchebags. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> You know, I don't, you don't want to play with people who, like, ah, they've got to win. You're like, because mm -hmm. if you're playing against yourself, then I think that's when you're Do you playing problem. Do you ever play, play by, um, by yourself? Oh, yeah, all the time. Do and golf. <laughs> <laughs> so you really like it. If you're playing by yourself, that's, that's uh, something that you... Yeah, I, I like to go to golf courses in Scotland that are quiet and go and play golf. It's, it's nice. Yeah. You'd like it, I think. Maybe. I would. We're very I, similar, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Maybe I'm I telling like you, you know, yeah. we even do the same game show. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> How's Glee doing, by the it's way? It's doing great. Yeah. We're, um, uh, we're shooting now, but it's not coming out till mid-season, but we're in the fourth or fifth episode, and they've been great episodes. It's so much fun. Uh, it's 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 the most fun I've had on the show lately. We were having a great time. Well, you got a lot of the perky, uh, upbeat kids there. That would be hard for me. <laughs> yeah. You know, fresh-faced, young people and full of now joy. And they're jaded. Yeah. And, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they're, they're yeah, no, I don't want to be around. I'd be like, you know, <laughs> be like Sunday school or something. I'm like, no. I was the kid in black eye makeup, you know, in Sunday oh, school. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so you were kind of a gothy kid? Ooh. You were a rebel. Let's, let's face it. You were I, was, I was certainly wearing a lot of odd clothing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it was what it was. Yeah. Anyway, we're kind of out of time. Are we? Okay, well, this has yeah. been really fun. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> it has. It's been great. Yeah. Yes. Well, we should get together. Again. We should. You know, we should yeah. continue this relationship in spite of the fact that this won't be here. No, this will be here. I won't you be won't here. Be yeah, I know. This This will be here. This uh, is, well, that's, my stuff is coming. <laughs> with me. Uh, my horse. Yeah, your horse. My uh, gay robot skeleton buddy. Yeah. yeah. I'm going with you, man. I'm yeah. We're, we're, you You're know, gonna we're, stick together. We're family. We're yeah. family. We're like the March Brothers, except yeah. one of us is alive. Uh, <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Uh, you know, uh, uh, no, come on, man. I just meant because you're not a real horse. Jeez. People are touchy. I don't know. <coughs> well, we're out of time, uh, yeah. like I said. Uh, but this looks good. Yes, Can I sweet. take this and read it to my youngest? Uh, absolutely. How old is your youngest? Three and a half. Oh, she'll love it. She? He. He. What's his name? Liam. Oh, that's a great name. Yeah. It's an Irish name. No. 
just thought I'd let you know. I my, know he's my family were Irish, you know. Oh, no, I didn't know that. My father's mother's side were Maguire's from Donegal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. My, you know, I'm Irish. I thought Three it might be the case, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lynch, that's Irish. Yeah, County Mayo um, uh, in uh, kind of almost North Have you been over there? I have. Yeah. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Pre or uh, post sobriety? What? Pre or post sobriety? Oh, uh, uh, post. Ah. Po yes. Yeah, so why didn't you get to have bit. a Guinness or anything like that? That's oh, right. my last holding. my last drinking weekend was on Guinness. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, you know what well, I, mean? I was I like poops for about two yeah, years. Yeah, I, <laughs> I drank Miller Lite the whole time. What? It was, it was such a waste of a drunken time. <laughs> I didn't drink wine, I didn't drink hard stuff. I drank Miller Lite. Like Miller Lite the yeah, whole time? Yeah, so there are a lot of people out there who, who maintain that I was not an alcoholic because that's, that was my drink of well, choice. Well, it depends on how much you drank. I drink a lot of it. Well, and also, it's all not the really time. what you drink, uh, how much. It's how you do it's it, how, it, it, how horrible it's you feel. That, yeah, it's like, the walks of shame, yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, deal. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I really wish I had stopped when I said we were out of time. Yeah. <laughs> but now we really are. Dale yeah, Lynch, everybody. In Philly, as I remember, the two uh, cheesesteak places, Gino's and Pat's, That's right? right. Gino's and, and they're Pat's very right. close to each other. That's true. And people say Gino's and Pat's. Is it Gino's or do you like Gino's or Pat's? Right. But then, then people who are really from Philadelphia go, oh, I can have all that. And they all go somewhere else. <laughs> but some unnamed place. It's like a local sort of dive people know about. Serge. Serge. Serge has the best Philly cheesesteak. Is steaks. that right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, he could probably call in and talk about it if he could look up the number, but he can't. Oh, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> this, is, this better be good. Hello? Hello? Hello, this is Serge. Oh, hello, Serge from Philadelphia that makes cheese sticks? Yes, how are you? I heard you talking about our place. They have the best cheese sticks. <laughs> You're from? <laughs> I'm, I'm from uh, Bulgaria and then I live on the Upper West Side of New York for about 20 years. What about you? Yeah, much the same. I'll speak to you later. Okay, come by. Ha Goodbye come to by. You. Have a steak, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, we should really rehearse something. That's sometimes. great. <laughs>